Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at an example where L'Hopital's rule, although it's very useful in many situations, simply doesn't help. Let's discover the maths. The question is, when can we apply L'Hopital's rule to calculate a limit? Now, typically, the answer to that is to calculate limits of functions corresponding to indeterminate forms, such as 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity. But this answer isn't entirely satisfactory. As we'll discover, when we think about the limit as x tends to plus infinity of x minus sine x over x. Notice that in the numerator, x tends to plus infinity, and that sine x is bounded between minus 1 and 1. So, overall, the numerator tends to plus infinity minus a number between minus 1 and 1, which is just plus infinity. And the denominator tends to plus infinity. The result is an indeterminate form, infinity over infinity. So we'll try to apply L'Hopital's rule and see what happens. The rule says that the limit as x tends to plus infinity is the derivative of the numerator x minus sine x, which is 1 minus cos x, divided by the derivative of the denominator, which is simply 1. So the limit as x tends to plus infinity of 1 minus cos x. But as x tends to infinity, cos x varies between minus 1 and 1 and doesn't approach any specific value. Neither then does 1 minus cos x approach any specific value. Therefore, this limit doesn't exist. Let's look more closely at L'Hopital's rule. It says that if you have a limit that corresponds to the indeterminate forms 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, if there exists a limit of the quotient of the derivatives, not only does it exist, but also the limit is equal to the limit of the quotient of the original functions. In our case, though, the limit of the quotient of the derivatives doesn't exist. What does that mean? Well, L'Hopital's rule in this case doesn't give any information, good or bad, and we're back where we started. We need to find an alternative. In fact, it's easy to find a limit in this case without applying L'Hopital's rule. First, we divide the top and bottom of x minus sine x over x by x, which simplifies to 1 minus sine x over x. As x tends to plus infinity, the 1 remains the same. And the second term is something between minus 1 and 1, divided by something very big, which tends to 0. We're left with 1 minus 0, which is 1. Perfect. The limit is 1. So bear in mind, when you have indeterminate forms like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, L'Hopital's rule may not always produce a limit. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.